so guys this is a screen where we have the all the things related to anaplan <coughs> so guys are you able to see uh, this screen that is where we have l1 fp intro model name can you please confirm me yeah sir yes okay yeah, thanks thank you <clears throat> the thing is that so this is our screen where we need to come uh, and we need to build a model so uh, i am starting from the from the uh, scratch that if we have any model so we should we we have three types of uh, dimension here okay so our topic will be uh, let like what is dimension what is time what is dashboard what is module what is list so this will be our topic in next next class okay so i will send you some uh, some a ppt or maybe pdf so from where you can see that what is what will be our next uh, data what what will be our next data to be in our next class okay so right now i'm <clears throat> just enabling you that what all things we will have when we uh, open a model okay so here we have time <clears throat> here we have versions we have users and all these things so in ana plan uh, there are, there is a time uh, where we have model calendar okay so one by one i will go with that what all things are is there in our model okay so i will ask some questions and please uh, answer on this and we will have a go through on this model and what is containing in anaplan okay so so do we know that what is a uh, calendar type that is not in anaplan that is just in in anywhere do we know that what is calendar type for a for a firm so is 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 it calendar type as in depending on the geography because the west typically has a calendar of january to december however Correct. india has a calendar of march to sorry april to march so is that yes. something that we're looking at cool. yes you are correct so the thing is that uh, yeah so this this will be depending upon the fiscal year what you say okay that is depending upon the fiscal year that you are saying in india we have uh, the calendar year starting from 1 april to 31st of march okay yes so this is the fiscal year uh the calendar type is related to this thing okay so calendar type is how we are representing our data in model by monthly by quarterly or by yearly okay so this is calendar type so how our data will be represent in our model so some some organization needs their forecasting on the basis of quarter or uh, some uh needs their forecasting that they should show they should see the data on the basis of half yearly or some on years okay so the the next thing is fiscal year start month so this is what you say that some or some country started their uh year from january some started from their year from april and some started from their year from july so this is what is fiscal year and the another thing is fiscal year label okay so this is depending upon you that what label you are uh, showing to the client okay so generally we <laughs> generally we took fy as a label okay so fy means financial year most of the most of the client where i have worked on use the same fiscal label okay and so the calendar plan is uh showing the same fiscal year year label okay we can change it okay this is editable so the next thing is current fiscal year so do anyone from the uh, team could highlight this that what is current fiscal year i am not saying I, we are not coming till now in ana plan okay we are in general thing we are in general general accounting we are general general financing thing okay so can we have a words on what is current fiscal year i believe is the same right 
um, the current fiscal year you're, you're pointing at FY20 um, from 1st January 2020. But while um, if we talk about now, now as in current fiscal year, then then will be FY21 starting from 1st January 21 to 31st December 2021. Yes, correct. So, the, uh, yeah, you are correct. So, uh, the thing is that in current fiscal year, whatever be written here, so according to that firm or according to uh, that organization, we can have that current fiscal year for that firm where they are doing their uh, forecasting is this what is written here okay so right now we have we are forecasting the data for fy20 uh, where the fiscal year start month is january and uh, it is it is starting from first january and till 31st of december 2020 okay so <clears throat> here we have two more columns two more entries so th th which is one one is number of past years number of future future years so uh, if I say that, what is it? So we can say that, yeah, number of past years one. So here we have data for one year from past, okay? And I can say number of future years means here we have data for future for one year, okay? So <laughs> this is in terms of, in terms of uh, forecasting. So some firms want that they have, they should forecast their data starting from last one year okay and maybe some some can say that i i need my data forecasting which have actual data for three years okay so if i if i need uh, actual data from last three years so i can enter here three and if i need just for one year so i can enter data for one year okay so this is another th another thing in an plan model calendar okay so number of future year means how many years we we should have data for future and how many years we will forecasting the data for future okay so right now in my calendar in my calendar in my model we have only just one year past data and one year future data so my question is that uh to all candidate that how many year of data I have in my model. Means no. Who is this? Hanumant. Hanumant. Yeah. Thanks, Hanumant. This is the actually the uh, the the beauty of this question is that uh, we have number of past year one, number of future years one, and one is current year. Okay. So yes, you are correct. We have three year data. <clears throat> And again, in model calendar, we have current period, okay? So whatever be the current period in my model is right now, so I can list it down it here, okay? So in my model, January 20 is the current period. So by the using of this, we can forecast our thing and we can have, we can show that what is the what is actual data right now and what is forecasted data right now, okay? And after this, there are some options in include quarter totals, half year totals, year to date, this is known as YTD, year to go, YTG, and total of all periods, okay? So again, this is this is not coming from plan. this is coming from just uh, some analytics things. That is how time is showing in any, any tool, okay? so. We will come on these topics also. So this is some, uh, I can say that after some time we will come on this topic, okay? So uh, so on the next topic, I'm coming on uh, the general list. Uh, actually, th there is no need of that thing that we should go one by one, that is from time we should go for time and then we, go, we should go for users, okay? So in today's class, actually we have 11 more minutes to go okay so uh so i i'm letting you know that what is special on an in an plan okay time version users is in all uh tools is there okay so i'm letting you know what is 
spatial nano plan so this is the speciality of another plan which is known as list okay so do anyone can uh, give some word if anyone know about what is list not in another plan anywhere list is something like you know which comes under collections mm -hmm. okay yeah where uh, like you know yeah, we categorize the things uh -huh. okay yes correct yeah you are you are having uh, some good words uh, on the classification of lists list yeah okay uh, okay candidate so the thing is that <clears throat> yes in ana plan uh data can be enter into some entity okay so there are basically two entity where we can enter our data one is list and one is module so we will come on module in next classes that is what is module so we are firstly listen that what is list okay so list is something which have data related to a particular thing so here in my model you can see uh there are some type of list there there is one hierarchy which is known as geo hierarchy in geo hierarchy list we have three more list g1 region g2 country g3 location okay guys please mention that there is a nomenclature for naming any list okay so there are some rules okay so right now we have uh, the rule that reason should be should have uh, g1 as the uh, at the at the at the starting of the name of the list okay and the another the next list should be g2 the next list should be g3 okay so we have some naming rules okay this character this alphabet can be come from any, anywhere but as this is a geo hierarchy so we we give the alphabet as g okay the another thing <laughs> the another so thing the, the list is customizable right i mean that shouldn't be geo product and employee hierarchy only if i have to plan on something else then i could i could kind of sort of create my list in that way right yes sure you can do you can have a uh, actually so for example if i'm any, if i'm any... if i'm looking at uh, say the media industry for example right so correct um, i i can have uh, broadcast as one hierarchy ott as the other hierarchy then movies in terms of content as one hierarchy serials in terms of content as another hierarchy that works right yeah it will be work you are correct uh that uh, yeah so we can have uh, another type of list also so let's let us say uh we have a uh product anywhere and we have a country where all the products are listed down and we have some reps some representative which are uh, connected to on that product also so we can have the list hierarchy like that we we can accumulate it, all the data related to the representatives country and products in our in our uh, model okay so right now i have these all list in my model okay so i can uh, enter data from anywhere okay i can enter data from any tool so i think uh, one of our candidate asking this question that how can we uh, means he he want to know that for, with which uh, tools we can integrate our system okay so that this is me. yes this i is... asked the question about what kind of extract and i was just going to point in that direction so what will be the data set that you are looking at how can you integrate your data set into our plan yeah so yes so the thing is that let us say we have a uh, pbcs uh tool okay or we have sap bpc tool okay uh, or let us say we have some data from excel or let us say any other uh, sources there okay so actually anaplan can have 
uh, the data as a as a source uh, in some predefined uh, format. Okay, it is like Excel text tab delimited Excel and all these things. Okay, so we need to convert our data from source to in that format. Okay, and after converting the data from the tool to that format means CSV or TXT or whatever we need. So after converting that, we will come to the our ANA plan. Okay, and then in ANA plan we can have some action where we can uh, execute that action. Okay, and that action will upload our data from that CSV to ANA plan. Okay, so in the beginning i say that there are some entity where we can upload our data i i i have say that list is the first thing and module is the second thing where we can upload our data so yes if we execute an action which have some which have some predefined instruction okay so we can upload our csv into the model directly so right now we can see that this is G1 region, which is one of the list. It may contain the data. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. So it may contain the data coming from the action directly. Okay. It may contain the data which have been uh, populated by uh, manually. Okay. So sometimes if we have just a single member in the list, so we can populate it directly, but the recommendation is that we should create action for each and every data upload. Okay. So you can see here that this is the geo hierarchy in which G1 reason is the, the first uh, entity in the uh, hierarchy. So, so reason have their child as country and country has their child as location. And conversely, we can say that location have their parent as country and country have their parents as reason. Okay. So this hierarchy is completed by these three lists. And if we go with another hierarchy, this is product hierarchy. So we have product family there and P2 products there. Okay. So in the view of ANA plan, in the view of ANA plan, so we can say that yes, this is list and we have some predefined naming convention and we have some hierarchy here okay so this is one of the topic in ana plan and if i go with the another thing that okay we have uploaded the data then where we should uh, calculate it where we should uh, reside it more uh, visually okay so a developer can see that data not not the end users a developer can see that data okay so this is the modules i'm just saying uh you can see right now what is module i will explain you and you will build it in front of me uh what that what is module and how can we build it okay so this is the modules where we can calculate all the things all the stuffs wh whatever we needed okay so i'm showing you just one module that what how it is looking like so this is module in this module we have some product and their sales price and unit cost so this is this is rows okay and this is columns okay and we have some uh pages here so if i need to see that city wise what is my sales price for a particular chocolate okay so i can see here so you can see in chicago this is different and if i go with another country may i yeah this okay i'm going with the diff exactly different country london okay and the okay it is again 0 0.77 maybe okay no problem actually that the plan to showing this is that uh, on the basis of different country we can see the data here okay that what is the cost price of what is the sales price and what is the unit cost for a particular chocolate 
okay so this is the second thing that what is module looking like okay we are going to the next thing actually in an plan uh, for a particular end user okay the last thing is and and the thing where he or she can interact is dashboards okay so in dashboard he or she can see that what is the data uh he are having he or she are having right now in their system okay and what process should he do so that the he can find the uh, report for doing his calculation or his forecasting so you can see this is the simple dashboard for a for a particular uh, client so he or she can choose the city and then the data of the the grid will be changed okay and he or she can choose the product also and then the data will be changed okay this is the type of thing that on the fly basis he or she can change change the data okay he or she can select the list member or the country or the he or she can select the country also okay on the country basis also we can find the data and on the basis of city also so before okay. you build the ana plan mm -hmm. up, before you build it because i have got some experience with uh, sap advanced planner and optimizer which is apo uh -huh. right uh, which looks okay. pretty similar right now which you are showing me uh -huh. uh, this looks like a sap planning book only so what i'm trying to tell you is uh, the hierarchy at which you are planning uh, uh -huh. i was i was based out of johannesburg once when we were uh, uh, building a, a beer a beer planning hierarchy for anoisher bush and bev who had taken over south african breweries so we had okay. pack size which will be container or or shipping yard or or, or you know uh, or uh, aeroplane drop mm -hmm. then there will be brand that would be say budweiser or budweiser magnum yeah then we'll have uh, the the hierarchy under it so will be 650 ml bottles or 500 ml cans or then we we'll, yeah so we will we'll go down to that level of detail right so this hierarchy has to be understood before you build any planning planning function right so this correct. hierarchy is agreed with the client right yes correct cool okay thank yeah, you yeah yeah actually uh, i think you are saying about uh, alstom Now I was talking about Anheuser Busch and Bev, which is the company okay, okay. that builds the beers called Budweiser, Corona, yeah. Stella Artois, and so on and so forth. Okay, okay, okay. Yes, you need to actually first the first thing first. Actually, we need uh. So in our next class, I will let you know that how we we should uh think about that. What is the hierarchy? What hierarchy member should be there, and how can we develop the uh list and that what all list should be there okay so this will be Thank a practical so yeah. yeah this will be a practical thing again okay so no problem we can see this all things in our next classes so actually there's there is so much to be explained in uh, explain right now but we are uh, we are having little bit time okay so the next 5 to 7 minute is for asking your doubts okay i'm not saying from this class okay because in this class we just have uh, an introduction to anaplan okay so i'm saying that what all doubts a doubt you have about our our training purpose okay that why i am getting training of that anaplan okay and what all doubt you have you should have you can have in the industry that how anaplan is uh, performing with respect to a uh, jobs and with respect to hikes you can ask any question because i can i can i can answer that question because uh i am in a conversation with so many people that have a very big hike okay even i am on notice period right now okay and i have a very good hike from my uh, uh, new organization okay and you can ask any question and i can answer that how can you uh go with your training and how can you uh, get hike in the anaplan c okay 
so i'm stopping uh, to the sharing here so this is the data which is provided by an applied itself to us okay mm -hmm. so this data need to be uh, uploaded in our system by us while doing our l1 certification so this in this class we will go to the l1 Got certification it. okay and uh, during l1 certification we will have these all file need to be downloaded okay <clears throat> so i think uh, your answer your question has been answered absolutely thank you thanks rahul so i am